been very many highlights and when I went to Mauritius it was working with the rare birds and I started with the pink pigeon and the Mauritius kestrel, both of which were critically endangered at the time. And the kestrel in the 1970s went down to single figures. In 1974 there were only four individuals left in the wild. And we were able to restore that with captive breeding and reintroduction. And then we moved on to the pigeon, the parrot, and then in more recent years we've been working on the endangered passerines, the small songbirds in Mauritius. But I've always enjoyed going and working on the remote islands. And I always thought, wow, wouldn't it be nice if we could really restore these? And of course, Jerry Durrell was, was always very interested in Round Island and we had many of the reptiles here in the zoo. And it was always our goal to try and put those islands back to something like they would have looked like before man modified them and introduced rabbits and goats. And what had happened was that the early sailors had put rabbits and goats on these islands, presumably for food, and they devastated the, the vegetation. And so one of our projects was, well, let's restore Round Island for the reptiles. So we did that and we got rid of the rabbits and goats in the 19, late 1970s and the early 1980s. And the vegetation started to come back and the reptiles started to increase and we all felt very happy. And then we noticed that some of the plants actually started to decline. So some were doing exceedingly well, but a lot of the grasses and the small native plants were just disappearing. And I had this idea that, ah, perhaps it was because there were tortoises on the island and the tortoises would have kept open areas and maintained a sort of community of grasses and small herbaceous plants. And we thought about this a great deal and I spoke to a number of tortoise people and plant people. And the more we thought about it, the more it seemed to be the case. And then one day I said, well, let's put back some tortoises. The original Mauritius tortoise was extinct, but I said, there's plenty of other tortoises. I'm sure we can find one that would fill the same niche, fulfill the same role in the environment and we started experimenting and that's what we've done. Uh, we've put back Aldabra tortoises on Round Island which is a similar species and uh, to date we've put over 500 back on the island and it's started to restore the grazing community so we're starting to get the vegetation recovering and that's been quite satisfying. So what I've liked about it is restoring species but how you can restore one species and it drives the restoration of another species. And how, if you keep on going, it starts driving a bigger and a bigger agenda. So that's given me great pleasure. And we've got lots of species we've now recovered in Mauritius. We've got the endangered birds, we've got endangered reptiles. We've put back the tortoises as replacements uh, for the extinct tortoise. We've restored plant communities. We've grown lots of endangered plants and put them back out. And What's really important is that we've developed a tradition among young Mauritians of working with endangered species. And so we've got a whole generation of young conservation biologists. And recently, working with Durrell, we set up a, a training school on the island. And uh, it's only been going a few years, but we're now running courses on how to restore species and how to restore systems. So what started very modestly, breeding the odd bird in a cage and thinking that one day we might be able to release them, it's grown into a movement on the island, restoring uh, the native habitats, putting back these critically endangered species and training people, the next generation of young conservation biologists. So I find that very encouraging. And I think the next step now is to take that model and apply it elsewhere and what we hope to do in the near future is to twin Mauritius with other islands and I'd like to get other people from other Indian Ocean islands coming to work alongside our staff to learn how to look after endangered wildlife. So there is no one event that I'm most proud of, I think I'm proud of the whole thing but all of it is slightly different for slightly different reasons.